This battle is scheduled for three three minute rounds. First, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 155 pounds, is an independent fighter out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. And tonight he is making his MMA debut, Jordan Dodd. And his opponent across the cage to my right, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 156 pounds, holds an undefeated record of two wins with zero losses, and represents Mad Jim in Ringgold, Georgia, Greg Hopkins. The referee in the action begins is Brandon Sexton. All right, lightweight action, 155 pounds. See Jordan Dodd in the black trunks with silver trim. Greg Hopkins with the blue Valley Chudos. Looks like both fighters are very ready for this one. Yeah, you saw Jordan Dodd giving him the signal there, saying he's going down. And here they go, and he staggers Hopkins. Hopkins closes the distance, of course. Hopkins with that wrestling background, known as a wrestler. But as of late, he's been throwing for the fences. Both of these guys making it a very exciting matchup. Good knee. Oh, big shots there by Dodd. Now, Dylan, what are you seeing here? You're a, you fancy yourself as quite the striker. I'm seeing that Dodd's down to bang. He wants to throw, um, and it looks like Hopkins is as well. But it uh, looks like Hopkins is able to keep his distance and keeping Dodd where he wants him. What do you think about these hands down by the waist side here? Uh, I'm not a big fan of that, but uh, because it shows tiredness and weakness. Usually if uh, a fighter is to protect himself, they're going to keep their hands up. But, you know, some people use it as an advantage, but it looks like he's a little tired here. So You know, Greg Hopkins looks like kind of like a lightweight fedor. If he you, does. You know, you know what he does. <laughs> that that he build, really that does. same kind of build, you may not expect the, the horsepower short. to come out of it, but, man, that guy is strong as a mule. Short tutos on as well. Oh, Ooh, big, big, kick. big kick there, followed up by nasty rights and the knees. Dodd looks hurt. Dodd looks hurt. You can see it in his eyes. Oh, big left hook there. Greg Hopkins touching that face of the debut Jordan Dodd. I feel uh, Hopkins has confidence here, and he um, has a fight where he needs it, and he has it where he wants it. We've seen Hopkins in deep waters before. Of course, that fight with Blackwell was kind of back and forth. And in the end, Hopkins took over. Uh, that's one guy that doesn't tend to get tired throughout the duration of a fight. He's ready to go three strong. Ooh, he's taunting him a little bit. I like that. Confidence is key in fighting. Hopkins continuing to toll forward, pushing Jordan Dodd back, but now a little lull in the action here. He's doing a little switches, switches of stances. Good footwork. But Dodd as an independent, he's not showing too much of an independent. Oh, the check there. Again, Greg Hopkins known as the wrestler, very content to strike here. Not seen one takedown attempt, a little bit of clinch work. Jordan Dodd catching and countering, but then Hopkins all over him. Looks like there's a little blood coming from the mouth of Dodd. Oh, he holds on to the fence. <laughs> oh, big overhand right! Looks like Dodd's in survival mode. Dodd landing an overhand right at the closing moments of round one. Dylan, who you got in this right? I got Hopkins on that one. You know, he, uh, he seems to have Dodd shooken up quite a bit, and he seems like he has all the the range and where he needs to be. Well, what do you think about this? Again, you've got Jordan Dodd, who is an independent, making a pretty decent showing for himself. Pretty good showing here uh, to be an independent. Uh, fights in a tough region, though, though uh, out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. That's a, a very, very tough pool of competitors. So even an independent's going to come with some stroke, huh? Yeah, Sid, uh, Sid Wheeler's from Chattanooga as well, isn't he? Yeah, let's take a look at this, uh, this replay. You see Hopkins landing the kicks, a little counter by Dodd, and then Ooh. there it was, Hopkins fired Sin off. Beautiful barrage of strikes and closing that distance. Again, kind of Fedor-esque yeah, a little bit. it is. Throws that big overhand right. Yeah, strategically out of control. Yeah, it's always nice to see a fighter do that. 
because you can tell when they know what they're doing. Both of these fighters throwing caution to the wind, coming out right out of the gate, delighting these fans. We've already had tons and tons of action so far, but we are just getting started. This is only what, the fifth fight in? The fifth fight in. That's yeah, great. And nice our, so our paperwork is already bloody. <laughs> it's a good <laughs> sign. Huge thanks to all our fans watching on Flow Combat, a great platform. You can watch some of the greatest fights from all over the world in one place. Part of the great Flow Sports lineup of, of group, of course, uh, I haven't been Flow Wrestling. I haven't been, uh, I haven't had a Flo fight Grappling. since they've been on Flow. I'm very excited for that as well. Yeah. Oh look, he's got a lot of confidence right here with Hopkins throwing his hands up. Here we go, Hopkins closing the distance first. Ooh. Exchanges Big right back and forth. But again, it is Hopkins the Predator. You can see he's setting up for something. And we've spoken about it before, Hopkins keeping those hands low. It can be dangerous. If Dodd's able to place one strategically on that chin, it could be curtains, but thus far. That's what it is in MMA, you never know. All it takes is one punch. Ooh, there's a big one right there. Here we go. And to the ground for the first time in this fight. Half guard position Ooh. for Hopkins. He has him pinned. He, he blocks has him in a bad that. Position. Now, Dylan, you spent some time on the ground in mixed martial arts. How do you like the half guard from top? Of course, in you know, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and grappling, it's something you look to pass, but in mixed martial arts, there can be advantages to remaining there in the half guard. Yeah, um, I don't mind the half guard. Uh, the only thing is, if you have a good grappler, they're going to be messing with your legs and breaking your base down a lot, um, which is usually quite annoying, and you don't want to focus on that when you're wanting to really hit them. Oh, here we go. Advancing to Mount is Greg Hopkins opening up here. Big punches. And looking for that RNC, it's a done deal. Greg Hopkins, RNC finish round two at VFW Fights Under Siege. That was a good show right there. Yeah, Hopkins continues to rack up those victories, moves to 3 and 0 here in Bristol. Take a look at the replay. Of course, we were here in the half guard. Got loose with it, that allowed Hopkins to, to pass him out and open up here. And it was elementary from there. RNC, done deal. Didn't seem like he stood a chance once it went to the ground. Hopkins had the wrestling for sure. Your referee stops this fight at one minute and 33 seconds into the second round. For your winner, by way of rear naked choke submission, out of the blue corner, Greg Hopkins. <laughs>